are back and it's time to whip it out. Check this out. Isn't that cool? This, this handle extends here. Not only does it extend, but I, if I want to, I could just unscrew it. And if I unscrew it, um, it's about this high. So this is the multi-roller. And also another thing too, it was easy to put together. Just two screws when it came together. I mean, uh, very nice. I don't have to mess with wires for an hour or so. And uh, has its own stand. Some of the other ball retrievers, you have to like balance them precariously, put them on a hook or whatever. And um, this thing, the, the, the issue with this, you almost have to get the ball right in between the tracks to really get it in. But the good news is it can get like multiple at once. There, got three there. Sometimes it pushes them, but that's okay. You know, you can always like go right backwards, get that. Forward and back, forward and back. Let me try again. Yeah, look at that, got a bunch of them. Nice thing about this, is I'm, if, I, if you're using a ball caddy to drill, um, I use this lever here. You can see the lever, just push it down, shift this, and now it's ready to release. And I can just roll the balls out, and it's pretty accurate where it rolls out of the hole I want it to. And it doesn't go everywhere. I mean, I've used a lot of ball collectors, like the one with the wires. I would say first time it might take you an hour to put together, but it's a lot of time. And you kind of have to spread the wires right to let it release. But this one I like, it's handy that way. Um, like I said, there's a little bit of learning curve in, in uh, catching the balls. But you know, this is great. I mean, if, you, if you're doing a lot of drills, if you're running at a tennis facility, speaking of tennis, this also holds tennis balls. I believe about 80 tennis balls, 60 pickleballs. You can mix or match, which is cool. You don't have to adjust the wire spacing or anything. It even gets the oversized tennis balls. So, you know, multi-roller. And I mean it. Use it for different multi-balls. And, uh, whew. So that retails for about, uh, I believe, like 175 or so on Encore Off-Court. And check out Encore Off-Court. I mean, they make some of the best training tools. Get on their uh, email list. They always, every now and then, you get a coupon or something. So you can get some good deals. Um, hey, you know, fall's in the air right now. And, uh, you know, in a month or so, it'd be Halloween. So if you take any of your Halloween related pickleball pictures, please feel free to send it to us because I like to repost it. And speaking of Halloween, I'm going to talk about Scolia. All right, Scolia. So two Argentine boys, uh, Patricio and Juan, they're, they're sitting there in Connecticut and, you know, of course they have a slight Spanish accent. So they, instead of saying Scolia, it comes out of Scolia. So this is the paddle that schools you. So for, for Halloween, look at this. This is nice. And I could you see my someone putting orange uh, tape here and maybe some orange handle. And, uh, you know, just really good hard paddle. And they also uh, do a lot with platform tennis too. So check out what they have. And what I love is their sense of humor. They're funny. They make fun of themselves. They make fun of their accents. They talk about the paddles and how they're going to school you. And, uh, oh, this hat too. Cool, right? I'm ready for Halloween. You're going to see this and this a lot on the court. And um, remember, send your Halloween picks. So anyway, the multi-roller and the Scolia paddle are both pickleball librarian approved. Boo!